Welcome, welcome to the Hump Day edition of the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, I took way so much of your time yesterday that I'm going to take so little today. We'll get through this one really quickly. Obviously, right now we are building toward tomorrow. Now, so that we can get this fixed in our consciousness, the big deal happens tomorrow. Pluto into Aquarius, 8.14 a.m. Eastern Time. On Monday, when the equinox hit at 5.24 p.m., I had an alarm set on my phone, and I was going to do just a little moment there. Well, Robert Glasscock called, and we were right in the middle of a big conversation, so I just said, hey, the equinox just happened. He said, yeah, I felt it. <laughs> so if you want to set an alarm, do anything special, this is pivotal, but as we talked about yesterday, this would be the cosmic equivalent of a slow dance. Pluto never gets in a hurry anyway, and this is going to be a long, drawn-out deal over nearly two years. And by the way, just to dispel, as you're going to be hearing about the age of Aquarius, we've entered the age of... What about 1777? <laughs> what did those people say? So let's keep things in context and let's stay balanced here as we work our way through this. But this is going to be not even three months of Pluto sitting at zero degrees. And as we talked about extensively yesterday, this one's going to bake. Another interesting observation in today's chart, the oracle planet. So what planet pops up over the ascendant, the horizon before the sun? It's Neptune. And this got me thinking, okay, hmm, let's look at this aspect between Neptune and Pluto, the two slow pokes of the cosmos. Could we put our stretch hats on here and call this a sextile? I mean, think about the math here for just a second. So let's put Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius. So move through Aquarius, and that's 30 degrees, and then move 25 degrees through Pisces. I'll take a five degree orb on a sextile, would you? At least to talk about it. So let's think about a Neptune oracle planet. That's setting a Neptunian theme to the day. And let's bring that in the context of the positive side of Pluto, not the shadow side. Let's go to the positive side. Hopes and dreams, visions for the future, the world of higher consciousness, increased spirituality, less deception, a world where you and I can express ourselves fully, wholly, and unapologetically without somebody lording over us. That's the air we're breathing today with this Neptunian whiff of an influence on the day just because it's coming up into the sky before the sun. So what does Pluto in Aquarius start to look like? Well, I think we're seeing it in France right now. A global authoritarian leader mandated without the people's opinion. Not taking sides on the decision or the issue. I'm just saying here was an authoritarian edict and the people rebelled. There's Pluto and Aquarius. There you go. But how could Neptune and Pluto work together in this sextile that is five degrees apart? Okay, we'll take it. Transforming spirituality. Bingo. Transforming lies and deceptions. Bingo. Creating a world where your dreams and mine are equally welcome. Aquarius. Bingo. And finally, a world where we are not only encouraged but taught to live from our intuition and our inspiration rather than from our head and from our learning and from our knowledge and what makes sense. Because as you look at this chart at the horizon today, Neptune is above the sun and then Mercury is next. This is so heart overhead inspiration. That give you something to hang on to? A little less angst, maybe? <laughs> Bring it. See you tomorrow for the big day. <laughs>